So I will show you how to install the row pee pod on the oar. You need a strap like this and the pod. You need to make sure that it's fully charged before you do this. And then you, there's a little slot that you just slide the sensor into like that. You shouldn't pull it all the way, just uh, roughly like that. And then you pull this strap onto the oar like this. Like that. Yep. And you need to make sure that the pod is on the same side as the back side of the blade. I will show that in a moment. But before that, it's really important that this pod is completely flat and straight. So depending a little bit on the oar, you may need to put in uh, a little um, piece of uh, support on the back so that this doesn't wiggle when you are rowing in order to get very correct data. So now let's check that this is completely flat. It should not be tilting in any way. And it's on the back side of the blade. And then what I'll do is I'll show you how to um, how to um, um, install how to uh, connect to the um, um, to the sensor on the app. So you open the Ropey app. You make sure you have the right boat type. Single skull. Yes, the sensor is on. Uh, then you click on the boat to go rowing and uh, it will now scan for the available pods. There's the row P2. You connect to that one. So that was the name of the pod. Um, and uh, once it's connected, you make sure that the sensor is on the right place. In this case, on the left oar. You click on that and you are ready to go rowing as soon as you have attached the phone rigidly to the boat. There are different ways to uh, attach the phone to the boat. Here's just one, one attachment type. It's very important that this uh, is uh, firm, so that when you are rowing that this doesn't wiggle at all. And by the way, you can choose different types of screens when you are rowing, but now you're all set and you can go rowing.